scripture talks charms about and doesn't a blessed care whether or not that you are participating in the process. At the end of it, he hands you a leaf the with substances and says, so Go, it is done. Said, but with says, God, but the light, there must be participation. I want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray. There's a lot night. that God will do tonight. And um, like I want us to conserve time and seeing how that we can finish on water. time. In fact, much Please more than we have. Do not we have but been doing in the miracle services, and I ask God for grace. And so His grace is sufficient for us tonight. Message, Amen. We believe that your life I trust God for a very quick walk. Like that man and please let's cooperate with what He your wants to do so that we forever can going to live bed. here on time. And we praise God. That your, your season will not I want to back. speak um, very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity We have a lot of, of content to share with you. The so we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well the reliability as the of God's hit word. that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content when it comes here, to, is going to set you exploits on in the kingdom is going to please make listen. you seen the principal channel listen to, to me obtain. please thank you the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith the principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith are we together now and your faith is inactive until the word of god brings it alive and so i want you to please pay attention there are so many believers who expect god to step in and bring healing miracles i was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared and um but then not surprised only grateful i would be surprised if i were the doer are we together the integrity of god's word the bible has this to say it says heaven and earth listen shall pass away heaven and earth shall pass away you know why they will pass away because the word created them both are we together heaven and earth shall pass away but the word of the Lord abides forever. The principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God. Please listen. The principal channel for committing God is not your tears. Your tears move God, but they cannot commit him. Your lamentation can move God. The Bible says, for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit God's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the word of God I need you to understand this not a man of God he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing God is the word of God Whenever we talk about faith, it is simply the vehicle that gives the word of God expression. And I'll just charge us a little. It's important for us to know that the word of God can be trusted. The scripture that we read, this Bible, look up please. This Bible that we read, the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Are we together? Holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit. So, regardless of the imperfection of the translators, regardless of the imperfection of the writers, the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results. When believed and acted upon. Are we together? Your faith. Every time in scripture, Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients. Jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing. It was Elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing. It is possible. But Jesus will only ask them, believest thou thy faith has given this to you. Let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo. Uh, this, this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful. This is what he said. 
faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result. Faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a part to your miracle listen please that depends on god that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a part to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from god listen please we come to god but we approach god as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week i'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we are gathered here tonight we are not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error i know you will be blessed i know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this i know your life will change i know that demon will live your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting is an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and searched within himself if he had the power to back up that name God never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said. If he called it a miracle service, then that is a miracle service indeed. It has never been about the inability of God to step into people's lives. Please listen. There is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of God to step in. No, you would be lying. Are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him 
more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit it says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it i found my bailout i found it oh they say i must uh, this and that and that and that i cannot have a child i've tried i've been having miscarriages oh men of god have prayed for me they are not herbalist get to the word get to the word father this is your word i commit you prophet isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the holy ghost went to hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of god with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of god to change prophecy ah, the words you speak turn things help me that the word of god can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but i change it yes they said everybody in my family is ss but i found a provision there is a bailout mystery i can't die as i can't die ss it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me i have worked with god enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man hezekiah turned his face and said oh god remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you know paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as i hear you say many believers want things to happen 
let me tell you something faith is hard work are you hearing what i'm saying you've got to find it and sit down until the word of god superimposes your doubt i know there is a rent of five hundred thousand to pay the rent is not in the spirit the landlord is alive i know i know statistics says that there are no jobs in nigeria i know there is recession in nigeria but when you find it in the word now listen when you find it in the word and meditate let me tell you what meditation does here's how you know you are finished meditating you are finished meditating the moment you discover your role when you discover the part you have to play you have finished your meditation you meditate until you find it good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life not will you give me what is my part good master what is my part lord what is my part to be healed oh god will you heal me that's wrong prayer that's immature spiritual communication what is my role it is within your power good master what shall i do to inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together it says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 he says and believe with thy heart that god raised him from the dead he said thou shalt be saved for with the heart he says man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation not just new birth unto health unto everything hallelujah your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal there must be your commitment oh lord what is the secret to end circles of failure it's like as soon as i'm recovering from one i'm finding another and then you search in god's word who suffered like me what is the key lord nothing is working in my life no job no marriage no money no peace what should i do oh there are enemies in my life how do i deal with them i've prayed and then the holy ghost takes you to psalms 149 let the high praise of god be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment that is written it says this honor has all the saints ah so my praise is a weapon of warfare this is my own part you shut your door and you begin to praise god like a madman and when you praise god like a madman all of a sudden you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act let me tell you god is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete praise the lord so what is your part tonight number one your part is to believe god your part is to believe god don't allow science medicine the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say okay now let's be real i know that i have a fibroid i touched it and i felt it is it really going to disappear and you now begin to think the question you have to think is how did it come were you born with it did you swallow it and it went there so how did it come you never question how it grew to be that big but now you are questioning how it will be shrink how it will shrink and disappear we have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief you mean i can complete that house by the end of the year haba this is october we've not even gotten to lintel level the last person who would have blessed me just said guy nigeria is hot hot for who 
don't don't generalize this thing let's be sincere enough persuasion i believe god oh i believe god that's why we're ministering listen when you find what god has said commit him throw away your ego throw away your fears and commit god the bible says listen listen to what he says he says in my name they shall cast out devils that's what we are going to do shortly he said it we believe it and so we have the effrontery to gather you and to release a platform for the world to listen and we give them an assurance based on what based on his integrity that's why we have a worship team what's the assignment to create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest because when his presence is here then we know that we have committed him brothers and sisters i want you to come to a point of restful assurance throw away that doubt you know some of you hear what i'm saying and most people when they hear preachers talking like this they look at their dressing they look at everything and say it's not your fault it's because you are enjoying as if the person was born like that Apostle, is because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here. Believe me, I don't care what it is. If God cannot solve your problem, then we have found a reason for him to not be God. But I believe God, previous miracle services, it did not happen. Another word for faith is persistence. Another word for faith is persistence. You will never never stop persisting and claim you have faith no sir elijah prayed and asked his servant go and check he said there's nothing he would have said ah god i called down fire once what is this one is it that i'm backsliding he didn't even have time to ask that question restful assurance he went back to pray seven times and he saw the cloud like the feast of a man and he told ahab he said saddle your ass and run I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. There are people here tonight trusting God for miracles in your body. There are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation. You are welcome. Who else will you run to? Let me just say something. When I was, when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation, the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down. Just three of them quickly. Number one, your action commits my integrity. Your action, not your conviction. Your action, your action. At the point of action, that's when my integrity is committed. So you can believe and not see results. Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much 
Are we together? It's your faith. Don't come here and be careless and just sit down. No. Assuming there's somebody you brought here, for instance, who, was, who is deaf, maybe on one ear or both ears, and now it's time to pray. And as we are praying, and you're just standing, you're watching the person. Oh, in the name of Jesus, if there's any deaf person here, be healed. And you look at him, and you're wondering, ah, this guy, let me concentrate on myself. That guy will never be healed. He's going to go out like that. Because number one, you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say, they're about to pray, I'll check you. Your ego is telling you, guy, don't do this. If you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him, if it doesn't happen, you will turn with your shame and hold him there. That's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed. Are we together? They mention a, a case and it looks like an embarrassing case. You've been healed. Go and check yourself and you are wondering. You are sitting down there and wasting your time. And then you run later after service. And you come and say, Jimmy, sorry, oh, don't be embarrassed. Do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile, it's me, oh, I, I, you saw me, Abby? Just quickly pray for me. You are joking. Because you see, the result is waiting for action immediately. Please, get this thing. The Lord told me this that I should tell us. Your action commits my integrity. As they went, he said, go and show yourself to the priest. As they went, as they went, as they went. The woman said to herself with the issue of blood, if I may but touch the hem of his garment. Do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself, she would have gone back home with her issue of blood. But then after speaking, she still pressed. At the point she did it, there was a miracle. Number two, this is the second thing God told me and I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. Let me be wrong at least. But I don't want to believe this applies to koinonia. But I believe this applies to other people. This is what God told me. Stop mixing God and any other God like traditional gods, native doctors, that's why I say I don't believe this applies to koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4 give us verse 4 psalm 16 verse 4 i want you to read the a part one to read their sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god that's what i was looking for what will happen to them their sorrow it will look let me tell you please hear me i've never gone to a harbor list but I've ministered to plenty of people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says there are sorrows shall be multiplied that do what that hasten after another god so you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep i don't care whether they ask you to read psalm one or read psalm 100 for as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up do something demonic the man is telling you go and buy a goat are we together you buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood, and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. 
if a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but you know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid, though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run. That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says, the price for this pregnancy is 25000 And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle with the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you for you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear a dear lady who now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family but i was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat razor and to her shock it didn't injure her razor like sharp razor you bring out gillette razor and now open your mouth throw it in She was scared to death. But I tell you, she broke that thing, finished it and swallowed it. No sign of blood. They are mediums. Right? They are mediums. I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. Now, the challenge with this kind of people is, they just come and say, ah, now, I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So, somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but the day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So, the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that, though. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight, but I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. Tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people honestly who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits. They may manifest as different things, but I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go, they hate you. There is a spirit. It says, for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong.
Are we together? There are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God. You have had it in the lives of people. You have clapped for other people, but you've not seen it in your life. If your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you, you think you are finished. Because in your mind, every time you are praying and say, God, visit me, what you mean is, please, oh God, help Ejimi to be the one to visit me. But when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way, you'll be surprised. Hear people saying three jobs. Three jobs. Waiting for someone at this time. Now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge but do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You're seated outside. You're seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. Your heart is open. You are praying. Time to release your prayer request. You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying I dropped it because you will never return to me. Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? Mm -hmm. The woman with the issue of blood said today, Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please, let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace... The grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty-handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message 
and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol. I'm media. I am a minister. I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here, cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside, outside, I place a demand. Online, I place a demand. On your integrity, I place a demand. On your favor, I place a demand. On your wisdom, I place a demand. Are you praying? Sheke pakata barata kata libata. Shem proto sobari kata. Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry, but I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problems. of using crutches I'm tired of poverty living from hand to mouth I'm tired of failure tired of defeat change my story change my story change my story Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. I want you to take two minutes. You are going to cry for your family. And say Lord as I stand here I represent an altar. It's not just me alone. The angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven. Step into my family. Step into my family. End that cause. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it all, God. 
nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. Listen, listen, the last prayer point. He said, give us this day, this day, not tomorrow. Lord, give me this day breakthrough. Give me this day promotion. Mention everything you want and say, Lord, today, my faith is for today. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. If your faith says yes, God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day directions for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute. That any spirit behind your seat. Leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention. Leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. I come against I come against you. The bones are coming against you. It are not the most in the atom. Make good on the body. Rato Sata. Make it in the most. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Shabarato so pariketi rise up everybody i tell you i'm angry my spirit rise up everybody we have to pray somebody has got to walk out with a testimony somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony 
Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kapari kete basala bakaria da badada. Shepete kete berete kos. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shabakata lakatebash. Embrekata katabarakata. Sheberete sedadebakata. Lekate prekatebash. Dekarete tesh. Dekareke tesh. Dekareke tesh. Shabaradaba. Inside, outside. Lekate prekatebash. The word of God is upon this prayer. Repekete kete 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 kete. Ekete <laughs> They are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. You must be free. You must be free. You must be free. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, every covenant, every altar, standing on your way to the next level, in the name of Jesus, right now i command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny Leave them now in the name of Jesus. Lift your hand. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. I'm seeing a sword in the spirit. And on that sword, I see something like a chain. And on the chain is written stagnation. In the name of Jesus, lift your hand. You may not even know this affects you. At the count of three, as you shout Jesus, many of you will be surprised what will happen to you. Inside, outside, online. Let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place, as you shout Jesus, I command it to leave. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command stagnation. Go now. Go now. Apoto Shekete. Go now. Go now. Stagnation. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. 
by the power of the Holy Ghost. Stagnation leaves your destiny. Stagnation leaves your life. Stagnation. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress, you have dreams, and in those dreams, you see things holding you. Sometimes you see chain. The Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are right now i stretch my hands i set you free i set you free i set you free i set you free hallelujah we are still praying they must let you go parato soto barikete ladies lift your hands sisters lift your hands i want to pray for you from my heart Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here, please hear me, knowingly or unknowingly, that has tied any lady's destiny, right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, May that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes. Any ungodly alliance, any covenant that has tied your destiny. Are you ready now, ladies? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Be free. Inside and outside. I break it. I break it. I break it. I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I saw something fly above. And the Lord said, it's the spirit of death. The plague of death. There are families here. Every year, someone must die. Every Every year, somebody must die. There are families here. Every season, somebody must be sick. I want to end cycles. Death does not just mean cessation from living. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands, everybody. This one will affect a lot of people. Please open your heart. Hear me. Many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families. Cycles of repetition. Lift your hands. The ministry of angels. At the count of three, with all your heart, I want you to shout Jesus and watch what happens to you. Some of you, as you shout Jesus, you will have an open vision, literally, and you will see things that have happened in your family, and God will bring you a word of deliverance. Are you ready now? At the count of three, Father, back up your word. One, two, three. Spirit of death, I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. I arrest you. Circles of death. Circles of death. I arrest you. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Cancel everything. Challenge every spirit. 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 
Hallelujah. 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 We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit that is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much we can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit,
rapata de la cosa y la mande bosa pa pereita la 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 cosa más que le those of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you are a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands I use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here. Anyone here with any strange pain. Ah, look at. I look at this lady and I see a spirit. Go! In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that pain to leave right now. Go. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me someone. I don't know what it is about this role. But there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now right now who is by the name john there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name john 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 who is john please are you john your name is john ah there's another john you are wearing nigerian shirt john you are wearing nigerian shirt is there someone like that? Do I know you? Stand here. I need to pray for you. Because I'm seeing something on your head like madness. Can we have this? Okay, thank you. Those outside, listen. In the realm of the spirit, whether you are inside or outside, believe me when I tell you this, it makes no difference. The only thing we have to lose, you can see I'm talking outside, but still touching people inside. That's the same way I can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from, from quara state. state 
for this meeting? No, I'm a student in ABU. Oh, you are a student in ABU. I'm, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing somebody reading, and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman, just from academics. And this thing I'm seeing is witchcraft. I hear what I'm saying. I, don't be afraid. I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here. But in the name of the God of heaven, please hear me. Because while you are studying, somebody else is hoping you don't pass. But I lay my hands on this gentleman. I use him as a point of contact to anyone here. Whoever has planned anything against you, it returns back to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. All of you in this overflow, this very one, please lift your hand. Sorry again about the sound, but I want you, don't mind, just lift your hands. The Lord is telling me in seven days, please hear me. There are five people here in this room. In seven days, God is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough. Listen. I will not touch you. The power of God will locate them right now. One. That's one. Five of them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to bring them out. Seven days. I stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice. And I declare miracles. 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 Bring this little girl for me. Bring this little girl for me. Come, sweetheart. Let her not forget. Hug me. Come. The Lord is saying, I don't know what family this girl comes from, but the Lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. Favor for this girl's family. I'm seeing... A final year student here. You've written your exams. You thought you've graduated, but I'm looking now and I'm seeing two courses, and the Lord is saying we should change it. I don't know who that person is here. This I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me. We change it now. We change it now. Help them. We change it now. I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute. All those whose family has been tied down maritally, fire is coming upon those spirits right now. Right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, be free, be free. Be free, completely free. Be completely free. Be completely free. The Lord is showing me something. I'm looking at this woman and I am seeing your children. I know she may not, I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not. But I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her. When it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Ah. Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman and the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. Tap guy. It's your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe 
sins in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me? because, uh -uh. Mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman. Uh, where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person? Go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at Northgate. At Northgate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see, uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people, but that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless, but if it takes a person to speak a word of a curse, it takes a higher anointing to help you. Hold my hands. Return back to your glory. I prophesy to you right now. In the name of Jesus. My brother, let me pray for you. Jesus is truly the answer. You see, let me tell you, brothers and sisters. You can be suffering for decades. But when God decides to step in, that's the end of it. He just helps you. Praise the Lord. When he steps in, I'm hearing Joss. Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. You came from Joss. The Lord wants to give that person a miracle. You came from Joss. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this is Mama again. We've prayed for Mama now. Oh, from Joss. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now. I will pray for her, but. No, I'm not saying your state of origin. You came from there. Not that you came from. I know, Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You two, you came. Daddy, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from my lecture. Changed to the university. The system is not I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. Don't waste your time, sir. Ah, I'm seeing you writing like, I don't know if it's a, this is like a, uh, like a publication. This is what I'm seeing. This is a publication and a prof, a prof is going to help you and God is going to honor you with that publication. No, there are many publications to write, but you will return back. This will happen like a dream. The way God is going to wipe your tears. Praise the Lord. Yes, please. I'm sick. 
came here. Don't worry, daddy. I'm going to pray for you. We've not prayed for the sick yet. Are, are, we, are we together? I'm going to pray. When it's time to pray for the sick, I'll lay hands on you. Yes, sir. I'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood. And God has to cleanse you completely. Yes, so that you will not die. Don't be afraid of death and be thinking I will die and leave my family. Ah, uh ah. -uh. God is still alive. He's the same God who was there for you. Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season. In the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come, let me for you. This in you come. Kai, I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? Can I, Gina? Can you hear? Me? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ. I lay my hands upon you and I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus father I lay my hands on this gentleman be free right now in the name of Jesus hold my hands darling I, I is it your sister why are you here you came from Joss too where in Joss to the water Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh, there was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come. Let's walk yeah. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The Father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Mama, where are your children? Where are the children of this woman? The Lord gave me a word for them. You should have been ready now. Are they here? Please, so that we move to the next thing. I want us to finish here on time. I want us to finish here on time. 
Are they here? Where is her sister? Under the anointing. Hold on. Please, I'll just minister to her. We don't have time. Mommy, hold my hands. I look at you, mama, and I'm saying, just leave the children to play. That's all right. If they shout, those ones are children. Let them play. They are receiving something as they are all playing, I'm telling you. Praise the Lord. Lift your hands. You. Out of him, now! Mama, I lay my hands on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. What do you want God to do for you? Sir, I want God to give me a child. To give you what? A child. A child? Yes, sir. My God. Your child? I am, I'm baroness. Mm. Mm. Ah. My God. 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 Mama, how many years? Ah, uh, I cannot say, sir. Go ahead. How many years? There's a reason I'm asking you. Ah, uh, it's long. Can you remember? Since I was born, I have never given birth. Uh, Since you were born? Yes, You are sir. married? Yes, sir. You've not given birth. How many years have you been married? Uh, like 20, 25. 25 years. I prophesy to someone here from the depth of my heart in the name of the God who sent me I say it I prophesy from this woman has touched the core of my spirit in the name that is above all names I place a demand on my office not my fate my office not my fate my office not my fate and I pray in the name of Jesus anyone under any cause whoever placed that cause must die I say it again whoever placed any cause whoever placed any cause I command the ground to open and swallow that person I say it again whoever placed any cause Against anyone, shake it, 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 a racket, it, it, a barocco to pass it, a brota sata, barete, it, 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 whoever placed any curse on anyone, may the earth open and swallow that person. Mama, where is your husband? He's not here. 25 years. You will think, me, I thought that what, this was one of her children. Mama, lay your hands on your stomach. Where is your husband? Not here, sir. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm not asking you whether you have faith. Look at me. Look at my eyes. If you believe I am sent from God, in the name that is above all names, carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Carry your child. Go and return with a testimony. Mama, hold my hands. I take away sickness from your body. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for two of you. Hold your hands. Please lift it. Let's hurry up. As I lay my hands on both of you, the grace for supernatural favor, I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to hurry up. Please bring out your prayer request. Pass them to the ushers. While you are doing that, all those who are trusting God for healing. Now is your time. Please come out quickly. I want us to be very, very fast. Don't injure the ones who are already here. It's going to be very, very fast. Now all those outside, listen. Those in the second and third overflow. Bring that girl.
those in the second and the third overflow that means the overflow by the roadside they can come in but those in this first overflow please stand outside those in this first overflow you can go outside so that will save time so that will save time let me pray for these people promise come uh, benga come kenny come um michael come where's pastor femi come i'll lay hands on you people you go and lay hands on those outside please make sure that the people are healed we are not playing games this is not just formality please come out bring the lady out release her now in the name of jesus i command you spirit it's time for you to go right now in the name of jesus amen let me pray for these gentlemen when i pray for them they are going to go outside don't look at them look at the anointing that is upon them in the name of jesus that grace the anointing that grace that grace that anointing that grace that anointing that grace that anointing please you go just pray for the people outside and jimmy please come you join me we'll pray for those here now listen we are going to be very fast please if we don't ask you what is wrong with you you don't have to say it now let me do something please if you are elderly here make your way to the front please if you are elderly make your way to the front our mothers our fathers so that i can just lay my hands on them and then they can go back please i please, some of you that are coming are not elderly please go back if you are elderly elderly is very clear if you are elderly we know elderly means you have a grown-up child please please let's save ourselves any embarrassment hallelujah worship team you will lead us through a series of powerful worship now if there are your loved ones who have not sent their request please let them do it very fast because i want us to pray here now make sure you drop your request everyone under the sound of my voice father i pray for these ones as i pray for you i don't know what the situation is but i'm placing a demand by the god of heaven inside and outside that there will be miracles in the name of jesus christ amen and amen heal the sick oh god and let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ mama please hold my hand in the name of jesus you're the god of wonders amazing god you're the god of miracles amazing As I pray for you, go back god to your you're the god of wonders amazing Ow. god you're the now. god of I miracles your destiny. I amazing god say you're the god of wonders Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing God, you're the God of wonder. Hey, the name of Jesus. Amazing hey. God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you're the God, say, you're the God of wonder. As they pray for you, just go back and Amazing check yourself. Amazing God, testimony you're now. the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, you're the God of wonder. Amazing God, you're the God of miracles. Amazing, you are God, say, you're the God of wonder.
are amazing. You are amazing. You are amazing. I say you are the God 
the God of God. You are the God of wonders. You are the God of miracles. Amazing God. I say you are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God. You are the God.
Your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Hey, you are the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say, your name is Yahweh. God, your name is Yahweh. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You're the God of miracles, amazing God. You're the God of wonders, amazing God. You are the God of miracles, amazing God. You are the God of wonders, amazing God. Rise up on your feet, please. Rise up on your feet, everyone. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it, shout it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare that my request upon this altar must become my testimony. Say it again. I decree and declare, decree and declare that, my that my request upon this altar, upon this altar must become Shabara Katabara. Let her go free in the name of Jesus. Must become, must become my testimony. In a car, we are Sarkis Rama. In a car, we are Sarkis Rama. In a Sarkis Rama. Salama, Salama, Sir King, 
The Lord is speaking peace to someone. It will not destroy you. He speaks his peace to you. Regardless of all the trouble and the turbulence that you came here with, the Prince of Peace is speaking. Listen to him. Ah. It will not kill you. It looks like it will destroy you. But stand still tonight and watch the salvation of the Lord. No, the cancer will not kill you. The report will not kill you. When he comes, he brings peace. When he comes, he brings glory. Sarkin Salam. Sarkin Salam. Please be seated if you can. I'll be very brief. Whatever position you find yourself, be comfortable tonight. I want to be very brief. I already see the angels of the Lord. I tell you, the water has been stirred. There are things that will fall from heaven in this place tonight. Salama. There are... There is a kind of impartation God is already doing. Eh? Listen. An impartation is a transfer of possibility. Listen, listen. Many people don't respect impartations. Impartation is not about falling down and shouting. There is a release. Your life is only limited by the possibilities you can walk in. And there are graces. There are graces. I'm speaking by the Spirit. I'm speaking. There is a distribution of graces. There is a distribution. I came with an unction. I came with something heavy heavy from my place of prayer something came upon me from the throne room it's an impartation it's a release some of you this is what you need you don't need prayer there are limitations in your life because some graces are not there may my god put it i stretch my hands i stretch my hands i stretch my hands your life is at the mercy of the grace you carry i stretch my hands new wine new wine new oil new wine Kato shaba the voice of the lord upon the waters is mighty new wine i release upon you that grace that unction that grace take it now something is landing on you landing on you that grace that unction new wine fresh grace fresh grace a dimension you have not known a dimension you have not seen fresh grace 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 pay attention to what god is doing tonight fresh grace you are only limited by what you carry as i'm walking towards you i'm walking with angels i'm walking with angels i'm walking with angels i'm walking with angels i'm walking with the angels of the lord fresh grace fresh grace there is a presence fresh grace you must carry it you must carry it i don't have to touch you i tell you there are angelic activities this is what some of you need you will watch doors open it is not just by shouting everything around you is implicated by what is within you let God just do what he's doing tonight you came here because you want results I show you the mystery of results there is something that can come on you and change your life it's not the challenges it's the anointing it's not the challenges it's the anointing limited only by the lack of the anointing
An angel is touching her. An angel is touching her. I'm seeing you entering a door, a door in the spirit. I hear my spirit new favor, new favor, new favor. This is not a just new favor. Ah, yeah, someone is entering it right now. Is a realm, is a realm. You can enter it. Take her time. No matter where you are, inside, outside, all those who this word is upon, I put the word upon your spirit. What you are receiving tonight cannot be bought with money. It's more than a miracle. You are receiving a new season. Hallelujah. Listen. You've heard me say it again and again. The anointing does not make the difference. The anointing is. Is the difference. Your life is only limited by the grace. You don't have to change anything around you. Something just needs to come on you. That lady on blue, the Lord is saying breakthrough. That's what you came for. That lady on blue you are holding, breakthrough is over. It's over. The yoke is broken. It's over. Over. One more prophetic word for a family here. I'm hearing in my spirit and the Lord will locate them sounds of joy sounds of joy the anointing will look for you the anointing is like an address sounds of joy where are they oh god sounds of joy you must hear that sound sounds of joy for joy is a force in the spirit sounds of joy sounds of joy sounds of joy sounds of joy Hallelujah. Let's sit down if you can for a few minutes. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. Please pay attention. I told you there will be impartations all through. All through. All through. Even while the word of God is coming. When I saw the visitation God gave me in the secret place, I knew he was up to something today. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost, listen, and with power. And then the Bible says, with that Holy Ghost and power, he went about doing good and healing all they that were oppressed. He didn't just heal them with compassion. Listen, listen, listen. He didn't just heal them with desire. He didn't just heal them with talk. He healed them and did good because he was anointed. You must be anointed for everything. Zeal is not enough. Results are at the mercy of the graces and the anointings that are at work in you our lives are defined listen to me brothers and sisters our possibilities in life are not defined by our backgrounds they are defined by the kinds and the dimensions of graces that are at work in us it is on the strength of this that men are different they are not different in their biological makeup they are different on the strength of what they are hosting within them this is what creates a response your environment does not respond to you physically 
your environment has never been disobedient what is on you controls the extent of the response of the things around you how God look at the extent to which Jesus was anointed and the Bible says he went doing good the measure of good he did was proportionate to the grace that was at work in him you don't do good just by desire please listen while I was leaving home to come here my heart was so heavy because there are thousands of people gathered and thousands others from different parts of the world following and now I'm wondering these people have challenges listen these people have mountains I got a text I think there's someone here is it a five-year-old child or something with cancer right here in this place tonight five years that's the woman right you are the woman no no it's not a word of knowledge just sit down they sent me a text look at that woman no matter what you sing and preach that woman has brought a child five year old with cancer what did the child do the child does not even have an opportunity to say anything the bible says that good that this woman wants cannot be done just with zeal and desire listen to me that good because there is a spirit sitting on that family and that baby it takes more than nice talk to set them free i will never be a man of god who will be a noise maker the problems of people are more than noise people need results in their lives look at that woman left adamawa because she came for an encounter right here and her father who had an accident was walking brothers and sisters hear me i repeat your possibilities are limited only only the little work with god and my work in the spirit i have come to the conclusion that your limitations are never a limitation caused by mountains they are limitations based on the extent of grace the kind and the dimension of grace at work in your life is what defines everything literally everything from favor to breakthrough to healing to speed regardless of what the problem is believe me when i tell you there is a dimension of grace that can solve it so our challenge is not to discuss obstacles our challenge is to contend to dimensions where every obstacle that is prevalent to man is under the jurisdiction of the grace we carry at that point you become a blessing when you love god and you love people you will stay in the secret place till you become anointed because that's the only thing you have to give people you can give people stories after this meeting now you will forget everything i've said just like you forgot what i told you during the miracle service the only thing you remembered were the prophecies i told you and the miracles you had as powerful as the teaching was last miracle service you frankly cannot remember it entered your spirit but it's hardly in your mind but you remember the pain you came with you remember the hunger you came with now we don't live and serve God just for miracles but brothers and sisters my simple teaching tonight and this is what the Lord put in my spirit to share with us that miracles you receive listen listen this is you have to get this tonight the way you maximize miracles is not by experiencing them alone you must discern what those miracles mean because miracles are a code they are a language the voice of God is upon every miracle that he performs he is speaking something and it's important you understand what God is saying are we together now the miraculous every manifestation of the Spirit of God signs wonders healings breakthrough prosperity favor open doors whatever they are you have not maximized a miracle if all you live is with the experience of it you must discern the voice of god upon that miracle and the language that he through that miracle is speaking to you that's how we are blessed by miracles every miracle is a language just like laughter just like tears these are different languages in the realm of the spirit 
and tonight God is using the miraculous to say three things to us number one I will say it exactly as the Lord asked me to say it mm. number one the first language that miracles signs and wonders healings speak is the language of God but the first thing God is saying through miracles is I am not the author of sin sickness and pain that's the first language of God that miracles reveal the moment you experience a miracle in your life it's a language God is saying through it that I am not the author of sin I am not the author of sickness and I am not the author of pain John 10 10 says the thief cometh not in other words you never find him around except to do this to steal but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus made clear his manifesto he said but I am come that ye may have life and that you have it more abundantly so when you experience a miracle in that miracle God is speaking and what he's saying number one is that by this miracle let it be confirmed to you that I'm not the author of sin I'm not the author of sickness please listen you will never open up your heart for healing if you believe God is the cause of sicknesses you will never open up your heart for healing if you believe God is the source of pain God through a miracle is speaking a language my son my daughter you came with a door that is closed now I have opened that door it's a message to you that I am not the author of sin of sickness and of pain two scriptures quickly Mark chapter 1 please give us 38 to 45 very interesting reading Mark chapter 1 I just want to put this foundation and speak the things that the Lord has asked me to speak to us through his word and then we'll pray there are already miracles happening already miracles are happening Mark chapter 1 38 we're reading down to 45 listen it says and he said unto them let us go into the next towns that I may preach there also for there came I forth 39 and he preached in their synagogues throughout all Galilee and cast out devils did you see that next verse please and there came a leper beseeching him and kneeling down to him just like many of you have come to find out Lord is this how my life will end or do you have another plan here's his reply to you he's saying he kneeling down to him and saying unto him if thou will thou can make me clean in other words I know you have the ability I just need to verify your willingness and this is what Jesus says 41 and Jesus moved with compassion put forth his hand and touched him and said unto him read on I will be thou clean I will be thou clean when you read from verse 45 down to 45 you will see that the man was healed so miracles are languages this is what Jesus is saying through the miracle I will I will you know that I am but it's important for you to know that I will do it you know I can make you blessed but it's another thing for you to believe I will do it the Bible says what things soever thou, des thou desire he said when thou prayest believest that thou receivest it and thou shall have it miracles are a language James 1 17 James 1 17 I tell you the presence of God is so strong I'm just seeing a fog outside I'm not even seeing people that's all I'm seeing like a fog thick fog all the overflows that's what I'm seeing outside and I believe that that glory is doing something in people no matter where you are whether you are sitting in the gutter on the fence on a tree wherever 
it truly does not matter now i know that it's difficult to believe that because you're outside you think you are not seeing me directly it's not necessary james 1 17 everyone please read one two read every good gift uh-huh and every perfect gift is from above can mean anywhere so god clarifies coming down from who because there are spiritual wickedness in heavenly places so god says no so so you are not confused that i just said above it comes down from the father of light in whom there is no variableness neither shadow of turning he won't say this today and do this tomorrow so every miracle you will receive some of you have already received is a language you must not only experience it but you must discern the language god is saying look my son my daughter this dear family no matter how much you have cried and all of that he's telling you number one that know this because there are many of us here who are angry at god right now god you are the cause of my problems god you are the one who has not done this and that god is saying to tell you through the miracle that you will receive that he's not the author of pain he's not the author of the closed door say amen the second language that miracles speak the language of God spoken through miracles number two that I am a loving compassionate and merciful God the second language of God as revealed through miracles is that I am a loving comma compassionate and merciful God Matthew 35 verse 36 the love of God is a revelation that we must have listen 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 the little time I have worked with God I have been amazed I know that preachers have preached about the love of God I have also read about it but I am amazed at the love of God for me my revelation of the love of God only climaxes at the substitutionary work of Christ but there are things God has done here and now in my life that makes me know beyond the shadow of a doubt that God loves me and I, I'm not just speaking about general things oh you are breathing you are standing you are not in the mortuary all those things are general things that don't give personal revelations I have seen God arise to do things in my life that I, I, I sit back sometimes and I fight tears the love of God is a revelation that sponsors the release of power the love of God his compassion compassion is an adjective that qualifies love it, it attempts to add emotions to love when you add emotions to love it becomes compassion the expression of it revealed many times in scripture you see the Lord moved with compassion Matthew 30 35 verse 36 okay we can't have it projected Matthew 35 36 sorry let me just open it here so that we'll hurry up Oh, I think that's a mistake I said 35 forgive me let's go to first John first John 4 19 I think I skipped scripture I made a mistake there pardon me it was a revelation of the compassion of Jesus first John 4 are we there 19 please let's read let's hurry up because of time one to read everybody we love him because he did what who first loved us 
the bible says god had commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners right in due season christ died for us we love him because so what we are giving to him as love is only a reflection of his benevolence how that he gave it to us psalms 145 i found a very interesting scripture you'd want to listen to psalm 145 8 and 9 psalms 145 8 and 9 are we there psalms it says the lord is gracious and full of what say it after me full of compassion the lord is gracious and full of compassion he says slow to anger the word there is patience the new testament calls it long suffering slow to anger and of great mercy in fact niv says rich in love rich in love the lord is gracious and full of compassion slow to anger and of great mercy verse 9 the lord is good to how many the lord is good to he says and his tender mercies are over all his works so the condition to qualify for god's mercy is that you are created by him the moment you are god's creation you qualify powerful revelation mm. so regardless of what the cause of the sickness regardless of what the cause of the challenge is are we together now whether it was your fault whether it was carelessness it was a mistake regardless of what it is the bible says in god's economy there is a system where his mercy can work you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. do you know why we need mercy because there are people here the challenges that you are facing right now in your life there are some of us the challenges are self-inflicted it, it, it was it was certain carelessness that gave room to demons they advise you not to sell the house you were looking for money immediately you sold the house and now you are houseless are we together that's carelessness but the mercy of God are we together you know sometimes we feel so bad and we feel can God show me mercy and rewind the hands of time and bring me out again the mercy of God was expressed in the parable of the prodigal son the Bible says the boy looked he was eating with pigs and says come the Bible says he came to himself and said how many hired servants have enough to eat in my father's house and I am here you know paraphrasing eating with pigs he said I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven and I am not even worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants the Bible says while he was afar off the moment the father saw him he ran to him put the signet ring he didn't even say stupid boy you are finally back never discussed as as far as is recorded in scripture never discussed the only thing the father said is my son was once was lost but now he's found i prophesy to someone here those who are concluding against you because the challenges in your life were caused by you you know it was your fault there is still a bailout system in God's economy it's called the mercy of God tonight may that mercy reach you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ miracles are a revelation by God that he can give men a second chance again God does not just have a second chance as many chances as your sincerity can receive the Bible says he's slow to anger slow to anger 
the distance between where he is and his judgment he slowed it down to give you room to tap into his mercy there is no mercy in the realm of the spirit mercy is only in this realm that's why you cannot pray for satan to repent mercy is only a function of time and only those who walk with time can experience his mercy so he tied mercy to the morning he says your mercies are new every morning every 24 hours is renewed again ah, so that he showed you yesterday does not mean he cannot show you tomorrow god is a merciful god are you hearing what i'm saying now there are families that are probably damaged here because of carelessness there are many families that are in financial bankruptcy they didn't listen when they would have listened there are many things we are humans is saying is, is a popular saying it says to air is human is that true all kinds of self-inflicted things but tonight there is a system in god i know you have even concluded yourself but there is a system after samson's hair was taken away and they were using him to mock god in the temple they thought they plucked his eyes and the hair would never grow back again and samson lifted up his voice to the god who was full of compassion and all of a sudden his strength returned and the bible says he killed more people in his death i'm speaking to someone here they've not seen speed yet till you experience the mercy of god I know that for weeks now you've not been yourself but God is about to show you mercy and when he shows you mercy listen with mercy comes restoration naturally it's a sequence that follows don't sit down meditating on what you did wrong what you did right there is a provision for the mercy of God that's the language of a miracle so if when you were living in the world you got yourself involved with all kinds of things and then you had hiv now you are born again and you love god does god have to leave you like that to die no sir no sir no sir every time sin was cured sickness followed if god has forgiven you your sin that is spiritual he should be able to heal hiv do you know there are too many people who believe things are not working in their life because of certain things that have happened it's a different thing if you're a rebel and your heart is not broken and contrite because the mercy of god only follows and, and is applicable to those who have a broken and a contrite heart rebels never experience the mercy of god so when your heart is broken and contrite you're about to receive something that will change you hallelujah I was supposed to go for the job interview but i stayed overnight playing games and i slept i woke up by 10 the interview was over i've missed the job now the mercy of god can still speak for you i told you mercy comes with restoration if you were supposed to be employed three years ago even if they employ you now it's not restoration it's just advancement god must find a way of bringing the balance of three years so that when they check the graph of your life they don't see where the lag was that's restoration restoration is not progress restoration is an is an acceleration to catch up with where you would have been had the obstacle not come let's hurry up number three the third language that miracles speak signs and wonders now this is very important the third thing God is speaking tonight and always through miracles is I desire that you trust me enough to follow me wholly. When God brings miracles, he reveals his sovereignty, not just his love. So he tells you that I am a God of love and compassion, but I am also mighty. I calm the sea, I calm your life. I am worthy of your trust. I am worthy of your handing over your entire life to me listen i am convinced that any man who is afraid of handing over the management of his life now listen it's a very different ball game to be born again and it's another ball game entirely to hand over the management of your life to god there are many people who are born again you are praying in tongues but you have not handed over the management 
of your life to God. Come and learn of me, he says. Take upon me. He says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When it is killing you, it's not of God. Hallelujah. Is God dependable enough for you to sack, to hand over your whole marriage to him? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your finances to him and his ways? Is God dependable enough for you to hand over your life with him? Do you know when you see people carry talisman, carry charm, carry arrow and all these things they move around with to aid protection. Do you know what they are saying? Even that act of stupidity is also a language. God, I don't trust you enough to depend on you. Mm. Esther said, if I perish, I perish. So when you see the sovereignty of God, quarter to shame, he steps in for you. It's a language. He's saying, I am that mighty. And as a result, hand over everything. You know, my concept of born again is not that you recited um, the Lord's prayer, salvation prayer. Reciting salvation prayer for me is not born again enough. You are born again when I look at your life experientially and I see the influence of the government of the kingdom in every aspect of your life. You give God academics and leave finances, you are not born again. You are a rebel in that area. Do you know Satan only attacks the area that is not covered by the kingdom of God? He cannot attack an area that is covered by the kingdom of God because you are numb to it. Your job is to apply the principles of the kingdom and leave God with the responsibility of manifesting his word. Our fears, our insecurities make us to come out of alignment. So when Jesus came, his message was repent, go back. You've trusted God concerning every other thing. When you thought the carryover will come, you saw it change. Now for job, you are trying to maneuver your ways. There is somebody somewhere and you keep disturbing him. Hundred missed calls is foolishness. It's a sign that you do not depend on God. Tonight I'm encouraging you by the miracles that God will do. In this place he's speaking to you and saying can you not see that my life your life is safer with me than it is with you are we together protection people are afraid of dying listen the world is so vulnerable you don't have to be outside to die people have sat down inside about to take the first spoon of food and they collapsed and died mysteriously there are arrows that fly by day. You can only rebuke the ones you know. What of the ones you don't know? The safest place to be is under. The Bible says he that dwells in the secret place of the most high. It says shall abide under the shadow of his wings. Like a hen covers the children. A hen may, you can slaughter chicken. But not when children are under it. You can catch it when it's roaming around. But when a real responsible head has the children under it, you come near there, you lose your eyes for it. Have you seen a chicken that violent? Yeah. So God is a merciful God to you. But wait and see what he is to those who want to trouble you. That's why the psalmist said, How he said, Many are they that trouble me. Many are they that says, Where is your help? He said, But thou, O Lord, you are a what? Shield. First. God will shield you so that you calm down and then now turn and deal with anybody who is cursing him in your life. That's what will happen to somebody. I'm not motivating you. Believe me. If you believe in God and you believe in miracles, most people who believe in miracles have not settled down to discern what they mean. So all of a sudden, if in a few minutes now, the pain suddenly disappears. You don't just go back saying, wow, this, this koinonia is powerful. No, you have experienced the miracle, but you are not blessed by it because you have not discerned the language that comes from it. If God suddenly, by tomorrow, someone calls you and gives you a land, opens up a door for you, untold wealth within one week, 
if you just get excited and say finally i am rich you have experienced the miracle but you have not discerned it you must know that god is speaking there and saying it is my might that one is not love you are seeing that one is my might i can compress time and bring your desire of one year to one week can you depend on me that's why you see most people pastor Jake, don't discern miracles that's why they keep receiving miracles and their spiritual life keeps going down because they are receiving miracles and not discerning from it i have learned from every dealing in, of god in my life a dimension of him like mike said it so powerfully there are names god wants you to know not the ones you've read in the bible he uses miracles to write his names upon your life so that by the time you are 30 years you are 40 years you have known certain names of god enough for you to build a foundation so that no nonsense will just come around and shake you if you have been born again for a while and you shake and fidget over everything there are some names of god you don't know are we together listen if by the grace of god let me just give you an analogy for many years we have been transporting people the bus services so you know by experience and by revelation that we are kind-hearted and we love you is that true now if on your way coming for koinonia sir somebody quickly rumors to you and says after service this night the way i've been feeling or apostle told me or i had a vision or i had a dream that we are not going to use bus this night the experience you have had with me will make you to trivialize that nonsense so when satan speaks and you pay attention it's because there is something about god you don't know so he will look at you and say hey, you better just be laying hands on your stomach because barrenness for sure is your own you are seeing it with everybody and at first you say no it's not my portion and then every day your whole prayer time you are laying hands on your and say oh god no i can't be barren i can't be barren it's no longer prayer you are only spiritualizing unbelief that one is not prayer again Do you know there are many things we call prayer that is not prayer that you are using prayer language does not mean it's prayer it's simply a spiritual way of communicating unbelief that's why it doesn't get answered to you you are consoling yourself but when it rises up is you are not asking god for anything you think you are asking oh god are you not the one who said this in the realm of the spirit what you are saying is god mercy i'm afraid so the only thing you get back is is mercy not answer because you thought you were requesting but God is listening to the voice of your spirit. You are, you, are ramp, you are wrapping scriptures just to vent fear. And God is saying, if you trusted me, you would have been quiet by now. Imagine that you are still praying for this chair to hold you by now. Pastor Alpha and Mike, you are just moving and then later I tap us out and say, ah, you stop praying, let's pray. Shabaladaba. Lord, in the name of Jesus, gravity is still working. I, I know this. Is that, is that are you, are you a, an intelligent physics student? No. That there is a level to which we understand but there is a level to which it's unbelief and somebody will now ask you and say what you need is not prayer what you need is revelation and an encounter an experience that makes this real so someone will say jump up and match it when you match it and it does not fall do you know sometimes God does not call, cause trouble but he gives you strength by exposing you to your fears and then you find out that they didn't do you anything you thought you will die but you are still standing and so you laugh at what made you cry yesterday that's how we grow in the spirit doctor's report said two weeks you are still five years and you've not taken panadol they said this hepatitis is is just at best oh if you reach 21 glory to god you are now 45. you were not thinking about it you have you reached 45 because you forgot about it now that you have started remembering you are wondering whether you reach 48 you will reach even 100 see i have constructed my belief system such that believe me when i tell you there are some things that cannot enter my mind again if i pray with you you'll be very frustrated because while you are rapping and ranting requests and say oh god baba this and that and that there are certain things you know about god that gives you rest that's why i say come on to me you have been moving you are going on to anybody you are moving he said come on to me all ye that are weary what wearied you running around like a roaring lion that's the spirit of satan that makes people 
God, he, listen, listen, is Satan that moves around like a roaring lion. God only moves his eyes, not his body. The Bible said the eyes of the Lord run it to and fro. Satan has to physically run up and down and you are down joining him. So he said, come unto me. This running around has worried you. I will give you rest. Have you seen somebody rest? When you say rest in peace, is the person moving around? Have you seen somebody dancing and you're about to bury him? You are wicked. You bury people who are quiet. Be still. Stillness. Stability in the spirit is a great sign of faith. Turn and prophesy to someone and say, be still. Say you're running around will not bring you the, the problem, the answer. Say it. Say be still. Your phone calls. Go, say it. Your phone calls, text messages, and running around will not bring you the answer. Be still. Your lack of sleep, continue, will not bring you the answer. Discussing your problems with everybody will not bring you the answer beating your wife whether you are married or not say it say beating your husband too will not solve the problem harassing your children will not solve the problem committing suicide will take you to hell look do you know people who claim they don't have energy i'm surprised that they are wasting the remaining one doing useless things instead of them to go to the presence of god and die there and say lord this thing whether or not it is answered i'm already in trouble there's no other trouble to enter so let me stay in your presence and die there there is a way you put pressure on the integrity of god when he knows he's the last card truly in your life you'll be surprised to see what he will do Many of us have options. You must follow him. He said, if you will not believe me, believe me for the work's sake. Believe that I am in my father and we are one. There is a oneness in us. I handed responsibility to my father and I submitted to his authority. It gave me rest. Brothers and sisters, any miracle that does not draw you closer to Jesus listen even if that miracle was produced by the power of God if it does not draw you closer to Jesus you have not really received the real miracle you have received the experience but you have not descended to make you grow I am surprised that the more people receive miracles they now run away from God when Zacchaeus had a miracle he dropped down from the tree gave up his, his um, tax collecting work and immediately walked with Jesus. When Peter saw the miracle of the fish, he said, go away from me, I'm a sinner. And Jesus said, no, come, come, come and sit down. Let's eat together. Miracles draw people. You are a drunkard. You don't spend one hour without taking a bottle of, of Gulda. You have been sitting here for hours now. The urge is not there. That's a miracle. The miracle is not so that immediately after koinonia you quickly go back and take one more before you sleep you have frustrated the grace of god you know let me tell you something by god's grace i believe in miracles but i also believe the message that miracles give we don't discern the languages we only gyrate in the experiences that's why satan corrupts when a native doctor gives you a miracle he, he attaches a message to it he says by this miracle know that this small thing this horn you are seeing is powerful and when you receive that miracle you will go back to the man again there is nobody who runs away from result when you receive results in an area you stay there if the result is consistent you camp there so that you visit god's presence receive a miracle and run away and only go back now that you have acknowledged that he's the only one who can produce the miracle stay there Tell your neighbor, stay with God. Please prophesy. Say, stay with God. There are people here, as they are saying, stay with God. The Holy Ghost is speaking to you. Because I don't care whether you are born again or not. 
the kingdom is not a priority to you you probably just came here because the sickness or the challenge or the bills or whatever is eating you up yes god will touch you but if all you get tonight is prophecy so that you can build a house you have not descended miracles genuine miracles produced by the spirit should draw men to god so when you see the favor it brings tears in your eyes and you say lord i will walk with you forever i've tried every other thing but i've settled with you say amen the last message that miracles produce there are many more but let me just stop here oh scripture for the third point john 10 30 to 38 just write it and you go and read it later our time is gone john 10 30 to 38 the next point what god is saying tonight and what he will say always with genuine miracles listen this is what he's saying my servant is my representative he represents my voice to you hear him the last message that miracles produce is that god is speaking to you that if i can come to you and prophesy to you if you can get healed if you can get blessed god is saying something he's saying the man you are seeing the ministry you are part of are a representation of my program on earth here and now so have the confidence to not just listen to me listen to them miracles are a language that demonstrate that the man speaking to you the one with whom God will use to produce the miracles I know people say in meetings we have not come to see any man we came to see Jesus that's true but listen to what father Abraham told Lazarus he said they have he said let somebody come you know return from the grave and he said no they have the law and the prophets they should listen to them in other words there are people that represent what the out-of-body experience would have given them listen to them a man who can tap from an unseen realm and bring an anointing to touch your life it will be stupid for you to believe that he's not at, in touch with God so if he tells you Jesus Christ wants a relationship with you and you don't listen to that one you have not discerned the miracle are we together now if I come and stand on stage here and I'm just standing and you are falling and shouting and receiving an impartation that is a message it's not just it's not about really about a man but it's the fact that god is speaking and he has found a vessel he's speaking with so you listen to the man speak as though you are listening to god forget about the imperfections that will come you are not alone the holy ghost is there to see through it what if i listen to everything and i fail no how did they write the bible How did they write the Bible? All kinds of people wrote the Bible. Temperous people. Bad people. But in the midst of it, the purposes of God were still preserved. Holy men wrote. Regardless of their imperfections. Let me tell you. There is a degree to which no matter how much flesh you have, God will veto it to make sure certain things will pass to his people with the level of purity that they need. Whether it is intellectual limitation, hear me whether it is spiritual limitation that is why a donkey can talk do you know what it takes for a donkey to learn english when men of god pray for utterance utterance is not oratory utterance is the ability of the holy spirit to superimpose your flesh and grant that your communication be full of light that it be accurate and with minimal if any corruption as it gets into the heart of the receptors that's utterance utterance is not the ability to speak english that's oratory utterance is a spiritual thing the capacity to communicate realities such that regardless the spiritual level of the listeners they will receive that one you have to pray for it you go to school to get oratory but you stay with the spirit to get utterance hallelujah Hebrews chapter 2 when you read from verse 4 the Bible talks about the man Jesus he said he was approved Hebrews 2 verse 4 can you give it to us quickly 
God also bearing witness he talked about the man Jesus and how that he appeared unto certain people and those people now haven't commissioned them to go and represent him the Bible says God also bearing witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Ghost according to his own will so God confirmed their word you may doubt their English but you may not doubt the result the same way some of you will not doubt what you are about to experience you know I watch people receive miracles and sometimes I know even them they don't agree have you seen somebody falling under the anointing and he's shocked as he's going down what's happening to me but he's still going down anyway that's the same way your life will change you will sit down and not know what is happening to you you will just walk out of this place and my God like the chains of Peter fell you will see chains just fall and leave you it says God bearing them witness so what are miracles instruments of witness God validates the fact that this person is my servant listen to him he has been approved like you have NAVDAC registration number on water now there are those who produce water at the back of their house and don't have NAVDAC registration number when they catch them you find them whether they are sincere or not they were not approved We're about to pray isaiah 44 verse 25 and 26 two scriptures and then we'll begin to pray that staring is happening again isaiah 44 25 to 26 listen talking about god now the god that frustrated the tokens of the liars and make it divine as mad the bible says he turned wise men backward and makes their knowledge foolish listen to what he does 26 that's what he does to them but this is what he does to his servant that confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers what is the confirmation of the word you are blessed if it happens it's a confirmation what is performing the counsel be healed and immediately you are healed that's a performance that's creation like a woman is in her, her father is in Adamawa and she's here in Zaria and a word comes and all of a sudden she goes back and the man who had an accident now is walking he performed the counsel so if there is no proof in your life among the many variables you have to check is whether you are approved they no 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 you can be a servant of God but not yet be approved being called does not ever mean being approved approved mean you are being released to begin to dispense the realities of the kingdom many people think the opposite of being approved is being fake no the opposite of being approved is being real but unapproved there are many unapproved genuine servants of God unapproved genuine servants of God in ministry for many years ask Isaiah he was prophesying but he was not approved 6 verse 1 in the year that King Uzziah died Isaiah saw the Lord a call was taken and given to him is that true he said here am I send me God didn't say I'm already sending you that was when his ministry started you can be doing a lot of things the opposite of being approved get this the opposite of being approved is not being fake fake is in another category you can be real yet not accredited like you are a student but you don't have a certificate yet you are in school you are intelligent you may even be on IT you may even be doing projects but it doesn't make you a graduate there is a certificate do you have it many people just stand and say the bible says this sign shall follow i am a believer be healed we keep mocking ourselves with nonsense because when you read the bible intellectually you will get not head sophia human wisdom you must read it of the spirit tarry in jerusalem he had told them many times do you know before he said tarry ye he had sent them one time he said go two by two what happened to the power that is now saying tarry until ye be endued what happened to the power that they came back blind i saw he gave them his name they were not yet approved they only went in his name 
that's why i say don't rejoice that miracles you didn't do anything there if i tell you the dynamics of the result you didn't participate the most important thing is that you must be a part of this family your names being written in heaven approved when you are approved it's like a register in the realm of the spirit so when god is paying approved servants you receive your share you are not receiving salary find out whether you are employed that's why the bible says those he called he glory he, um, those he predestined he called but he has not glorified them yet those he called after a season of building he now glorified them if a man will punch himself that man will be a vessel unto honor he can stop there as a vessel unto honor comma meat for the master's use believe me many approved singers not mistrels in the spirit they sing and twist their tongue and they think the secret is in minor songs and you sing all kinds of minor songs you think the secret is in clashing cymbal because joshua selman is doing it you harass every drummer to clash every cymbal no show me the certificate let no one trouble me paul says for i bear there is a badge demon said jesus i know we see his certificate a man approved of god approved of god approved of god paul the apostle was approved of god let me tell you every true servant of god who has worked with god and has a dealing with god is approved and when he's approved immediately whether you are called into the ministry of helps there must be a sign from heaven when jesus was born he was approved of god there was a sign a star arose on the day of pentecost that experience was approved of god there was a sign every time there is approval there is there is a sign where is your own it could mean you are not even in the school completely or you can be in the kingdom and not be in the school of the spirit there are two different things like there are people in abu some are selling rice some are, are some have some some are selling um things you are inside abu but you are not in any faculty so you can be in the kingdom but not in the school of the spirit only those in the school of the spirit access power and command the grace that will keep nations still i'd like you to pray one minute and say lord i'm in your school oh nothing is taking me out of there i'm not only in the kingdom i'm in the school of the spirit the place where men are made with power the place where men access the presence of god superior dimensions of spiritual reality pray in one minute thank you father for being in the kingdom i gave my heart to you and i'm there but lord i walk with you consciously in obedience he that endures to the end he shall be given a crown and a white stone there are rewards not everything in the kingdom is a gift brothers and sisters there are rewards that's why there are diversities of results if there are no rewards everything will be possible for everybody at the same time because the lord is rich unto all why are there disparity in results is disparities of trainings just like you have a professor you have a master's holder you have an undergraduate you have a secondary school certificate holder different seasons that provide different accesses to graces lift your voice and pray hallelujah second corinthians will rise up to begin to pray now god will do a quick walk second corinthians 12 verse 12. by this little teaching i I'd like you to desire more in god more in god greater grace a time will come your talk will weary people they'll be tired of you when you speak and there are results your words become heavy they look like the word of god second corinthians 12 12. paul was speaking about his credentials 
you used to know me as a scribe but i had an encounter i was in the wilderness of arabia for over 19 years he was in the kingdom but he was in the wilderness of arabia after 19 solid years of stringent building with the lord a testament came truly the signs of an apostle there are signs called the signs of an apostle the sign is not the name i am apostle jeffrey i am apostle joshua selman no i am pastor this i am reverend this the word apostle there does not does mean apostle like an office the sign of an approved and a sent one when navdak appro approves something no matter what the drink is there is something they stamp there no matter what it is check somewhere even if there's no space they create space and stamp it it is based on this brothers and sisters that we can gather people like this by grace and say come this is not the issue of my personal faith this is the issue of a navdak number koinonia is registered this is like you have jam center there is jam center that is for crooks when people go there they don't even write exams is that true you pay money but there's what they call uh, what they call it approved centers when you go there you sit down there are tables they have gone through a, tra a training by the grace of god by the election of grace and by our determination to take advantage of it truly the signs of an apostle were wrought among you all in what was the first thing the first sign is not miracles the patience to endure till you access it the first sign of an apostle a saint one is not signs and wonders many foolish people deceive themselves the first sign is patience for many years you will walk with god and not see one result the first sign is patience you will prophesy nothing will happen you will pray for the sick nothing will happen but you are still in the school so patience then in signs notice the progression signs trickles then it now moves to the next realm wonders then the apex of your apostolic ministry is called mighty works that one is not personal miracle that is territories elijah stands and said there shall be no rain look at the progressions these four levels if you don't enter this level in ministry you will never be fulfilled there are people this where they are patience 10 years they will not move others signs here and there somebody is testifying you you are let me tell you how you know it's a sign you are not even sure whether it came from you they just say pastor prayed for me and sincerely you cannot tell when there is no predictability a sign shows direction that's not it if you see a sign to abu that sign is not abu it's pointing you there wonders a realm of predictable results you begin to see certain things and then before you reach the apex he called it mighty works the only other person that title was used for was jesus he said what wisdom is this that such mighty works were wrought this is where we are going where you shift systems so don't just say i'm born again i will enter here you are joking it's the same way saying i have admission i'm a first class student they gave you admission you walk your way to first class the options are there he gave unto one five two one according to their several ability not his desire for them several things will be happening tonight brothers and sisters i want you to trust three things tonight as we pray one listen 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 number one believe in your faith in god and god's faith in you two listen believe in the covenant that we have with god i told you that our work with god is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant there are covenants that men have with god let me tell you listen i can take one bottle of beer here and come up and minister i will minister by the covenant my relationship with god is something he will deal with me with later on but as far as the covenant of using my life my grace and koinonia to minister 
not even me can stop it that's why when elijah died the covenant was still on his bones elisha his bones still raised the dead because the grace on him was authorized to do that not whether he was living or dead that's the basis of man to transfer that's the correct basis of man to transfer that when you touch a man or shake a man you are going not with a material you are carrying a covenant to your home god stops dealing with you now based on you it is on that basis we can say the god of peace when you say the god of isaac there's something about god and isaac that makes him hear you the god of jacob there's another thing i don't encourage people to say the god of joshua selman and this but brothers and sisters there are covenants there are men god entered a covenant with them like joshua no man will be able to stand against you all the days of your life he didn't say where you do well that's the covenant this house you see is a mystery of covenants covenants here and there that's the reason why we make certain bold claims i truly believe that if all i use is just my personal faith i will be afraid i have eyes i'm a human being you can see cases that you know are impossible but there are higher dimensions rise up on your feet let's pray i've convinced you enough to believe that you can walk out of here free Please lift your voice and in one minute blast in tongues. Pray in the spirit. Lord, I believe that by these two immutable things it is impossible for God to lie. Are you praying? For surely the signs of an apostle were what were wrought in patience and signs and wonders and mighty works. Listen, in one minute, please, young old, just walk with this instruction. Mention clearly the issue of concern and say, Father, visit it. Don't just say, God bless me. That's not a very wise statement. Be very exact. He said, give us this day. Lift your voice and pray in one minute. Please pray passionately. Emmanuel, we want to see you. Pray. We want to hear from you, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, we want to see you, we want to hear from you. to be broken burdens are about to be lifted families are about to rise pray Emmanuel Emmanuel we want to see you hello Madonna such grace in this place such grace listen listen there are spirits you've heard me say it 
that tie down men there are spirits that tie down destinies there are spirits that tie down families and are responsible for the predicament of people when you come into the presence of God like this some of you are lovely innocent people you love God with all your heart but certain things are not going well with your life those spirits must give way there is an anointing don't be afraid don't ask whether it will happen it's not just your personal faith you have believed God that's all right leave the rest to him whenever I call you you will answer me my altar is calling you oh God my altar is calling you oh God my secret place is calling is calling you oh God take my praise oh God take my praise will you take my praise take my praise it's calling you alright we're ready let's go lift your hands I want to pray for you that every spirit and every force my God I see so many people so many people who will be delivered so many people who will be delivered I want you to bring them out the anointing is here it has come lift your voice at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus inside and outside I come against every spell every enchantment by the power that is in the name of Jesus that as God's people shout in the name that is above all names let every dragon crumble are you ready now at the count of three one two three shake it, take it, take it, take it. my God charms 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 I'm seeing charms I'm hearing in my spirit charms bring them out charms charms divination instruments of wickedness divination I curse you Katokata. outside the angel of his presence outside sweeping like rain that view divination instruments of wickedness I command you to leave I command you to leave this is a place of his power lift your hands my God my God my God listen I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit this thing that they count there's this thing that they count one by one in the name of Jesus that's what I'm seeing and the Lord is telling me that there are instruments of divination people are about to be set free now Lord I don't know where they are but like fire is visiting at least 21 people inside and outside in the name of Jesus let it go I release that fire now help them right now right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost no devil will stand it I assure you no devil will stand it whether you are inside or outside there is grace to set you free I command divination I command yokes broken lift your hands and pray I'm seeing a number in the spirit 74 and the Lord is telling me that's the number of people that must be delivered from the spirit of delay lift your voice this delay is a wicked spirit I want to pray you may not know you belong to that category is the anointing that will fish you out guys be sensitive please please 
in the name of Jesus 74 people Lord wherever they are I stretch my hands right now the spirit of delay at the count of three I like you to shout Jesus one two three let them go now let them go now the cause of delay the spell of delay so Those outside, only those outside, lift your hands. The Lord is directing me. Those outside, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. First overflow, second overflow, and online. There are certain people that will be picked by angels. Strong delay spirit outside. In the name of Jesus, are you ready? Just those outside. One, two, three. Command that spirit. There's fire outside. It must go now. It must go now. Leave that sister. Leave our destiny. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith. F A I T H. Faith. Who is faith? I'm hearing a name, Faith. Are you Faith? Hold on, hold on. Don't match the people here, please. Faith. This person is outside. It's a small girl. She's wearing a white something. White like white. Is there someone like that? Come. What's your name? This is the girl I saw in the spirit. I'll pray for you. Come. What's your name? Faith. Your name is Faith. Come. Where are you from? Let's hurry up. Please, if I mention your case, I don't have to mention every case. Don't worry. Our time is constrained. We wanted to make it a vigil, but we are off to Lagos tomorrow. Just Faith. Let them come. Are you an usher? Usher, lift your hands. You are the first person to receive the miracle that I'm praying for. I'm looking at you and I'm not seeing an usher. God is saying he's visiting your family right now. Receive that grace now. Right now. Let that devil leave our family. Go. Delay. Out of our family. After that you can do your ushering work. Look at me my dear. Where are your parents? Huh? Where is home? Where do you stay? You are faith too? Huh? Let me pray for you. Hold my hands. It's not just you I'm praying for. Look at me. I want to pray for your family. Your family is being greatly oppressed. Huh? Go and tell your parents that a man of God prayed for them. I'm seeing a family that came from Abuja. That's what the Lord is showing me. Abuja. Not just a person. Like a family that came from Abuja. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle. Supernatural miracle. Miracle. All of you, your names are faith. Hold on. Please hold your hands together um, so that we can save time. We still have sick people to pray for. We are going to be very fast. It won't take long. I want us to finish very fast tonight. All the faiths. I'm going to pray. Your name is faith too? Osha. You are Osha. You are a worker. You will receive your own differently. Lift your hands. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's giving you beauty. 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 In the name of Jesus. Beauty. All the faith. I'll just lay hands on one person as a point of contact to you. Father, I don't know why they are out, but may the anointing flow from this one lady right now. To every one of them. Right now. Right to all of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So that we will save time. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I see a family from Abuja. Where are you? Please let me speak to you. From Abuja, clap for Jesus as they come quickly, please. Hold on. Who is sick? Who is sick? Who is sick? Chest. Your chest has a problem. Yes. You sleep in the night yes. and you feel as if there's something on it. Yes. This is witchcraft. Yes. But someone else is sick. I'm saying, where are you from? Abuja? All of Abuja. you? Yes. Hold on. Yes. All of you? Yes. I didn't say if you are from Abuja, please. You are a family from Abuja. Hold on, hold on. 
if they are here don't push them let's be gentle on them why is he there okay no you don't have to those under the anointing listen listen when people are under the anointing especially for deliverance there's a reason why they are out don't just lift them and push them you can shift them there's a reason why we ask them to come out it's not to show they are falling you already saw them fall there yeah. you are the one from abuja lay your yes. hands come let me lay my hands on you you are scattered you are all the same family all of you the ones at the back are you the same family you are on your own you would have sat down there my brother my sister two of you you are together i will pray for you what do you want god to do for you please we don't have time if you are not sure i'll just keep you aside so that we can deal with it. i need employment employment yes, sir. I need a job. do you love yes, god job. yes sir huh? yes sir seriously yes sir what of you i want to follow my education sir see it's not everybody i'm just speaking on behalf of your family we don't have all the time I have to pray for you, my brother. Huh? God will heal you. And then for you. What's wrong? He has diabetes. That, I said there's somebody sick. You heard me say there's somebody sick. He's the one sick. He's having chest pain, but this one. Leave chest pain. Chest pain is not this. This one is witchcraft. It's not sickness. This. Okay. We have to pray. Huh? I'm looking at this and I'm seeing these things that doctors used to check organs of people. I'm seeing that he has a wound. He has a wound inside and the wound is not healing. We have to pray, Father, heal that in Jesus' name. Lift your hands, I'll just lay my hands on you very quickly. My major focus is to pray for the sick. That breakthrough, we can prophesy that one, but I, I want to pray for the sick. Right now in the name of Jesus, be healed my brother your chest you go and get a job in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god bless you it's done go back to your seat please come quickly let me pray for you it's done i pray for you why are you here huh? god should what set me loose from set you loose distraction you are distracted one two you are very disorganized look at me your major problem is not demonic you are very scattered and disorganized you need your life to get some level of order lift your hands and you you want to do ministry you, you don't need you you had me say approved right you settle down you don't just run around if you are disorganized you will not get result father grant him grace supernatural grace something is leaving you and something else is coming into you that thing that must leave you go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I release an anointing upon you. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Why are they here, your children? Come. What's, are they sick? What's wrong with them? This one has a heart problem. Heart problem? Yes. Oh my God. And this one has breathing. Breathing problem. They are all your children. They are, children. They are all your children. Hold them. It's you I should pray for, not them. The, the children are just reacting to something. I have to pray for you. Eh? Things are not going on well. Where's your husband? He's abroad. He's abroad. How long has he been there? Getting to here. What I want to tell you eh, is not something I will say in the open. Are you hearing me? But uh, I pray for the grace of God. That's, that's all I will say for now. Eh? And I'll pray for you because you see any success no let's hold my hands let's pray why are you holding our hands you are sister i'll pray for you huh you want to marry and what again are you married uh -huh. marriage is one what's the second prayer point Job. what's the third one financial breakthrough these are the three things i brought you here there's one more there are four ministry ministry so there are four I'm seeing it like that. That's why I'm telling you. Did you show me? Did you tell me? That's what I'm telling you. Marriage is number one. Then job, finance, and then you have the call of God. You're a woman of prayer and God shows you dreams. Is that true? Where's the mic? Yes, sir. God shows you dreams. Yes, and you are wondering, you don't know whether you should wait for your husband or start ministry now because that's your fear. You see the anointing is on her? That's your fear. You don't know whether you should start something now or you should wait 
for the man God will send into your life. And it's because you are a nice lady. You don't want to do anything that looks antagonistic to his ministry. This is, I'm hearing you discuss with a friend. Huh? And that's, so God is going to solve that problem for you. Well, you, let's pray. Hold my hands. Father, what God has joined together, the Bible says, let no man, whether whoever, man also includes woman man doesn't just mean a male figure man includes man plus every jezebel that represents a system and i'm using i'm not saying your husband are you getting me now this is not something i'll say here i want to prophesy any marriage any couple that are married now and there's anybody looming around to reap where you did not sow in the name of jesus we scatter that nonsense right now You will hear testimonies from this thing i just this little prayer has delivered somebody right now father let there be miracles the spirit of infirmity i command it to live your life now in the name of jesus bring the children please where's the one with the heart problem uh okay look at this adorable baby heart problem heart what did they tell you he said there is a swelling a swelling in his heart hold it for me it must go down because this baby now will not grow well how many of you know that the baby will not grow well you may not know what is wrong until he grows then certain things that should happen to other people will not happen to him i know a lady that i prayed for she doesn't have a womb i'm not saying it's not developed completely no womb like that usually it's these kinds of things um you know at the point of conception several things happen jesus in the name that is above all names i pray in the presence of your people this is why you sent me by the power of the holy spirit let this heart become normal now you see it you see what is happening i told you is the mother that should be prayed for i'm praying for him and see the person falling under the anointing because that's where it came from it returns to hell now i can't hold this one it's big in the name of jesus supernatural miracle see the anointing is on her too somebody come and hold her please hold her hold her god is healing the baby and healing her too. two of them hold her the anointing is on her God has removed something from your family related to this. There's something you would have suffered that is related to this thing. You are an usher while you held him. That's why the anointing touched him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to prophesy on two people. They will come under the anointing now. Please bring them out. Just two people right here indoors. There's an anointing that is coming on two people right now. Thank you, Jesus. The, the Lord is just giving a word. We're going to pray for the sick now. Two people. You can't stand it. It's like fire. It will come on you. Please bring them. August. Is it Augusta? Augusta. August. Augusta or August. Something that looks August something. A name. Augusta or Augustina or something like that. Please, anybody with that name. Augustine. Sir, this man, come. This this fair man, come. Your breakthrough has come. There's a lady outside that August something. You are outside in the overflow. There is another one. You are wearing chain. Chain. Like uh, this thing they wear. Is there someone like that? Not you, sir. You? There's somebody you're wearing. I want to pray. Uh, ah! Look at you. Lift your hands. Look at me. Shout, I avoid trouble. Shout it. I avoid trouble. You are speaking English. Shout it. I avoid troubles. Because I'm seeing the devil planning to really frustrate you December. And we have to pray against it. And this is something that is, is something you are vulnerable to. But in the name of Jesus, no trouble. By the power of the Holy Spirit no trouble in the name of jesus you don't stop them you just guide them in the name of jesus sir i want to pray for you god is about to change your life you're a man look at me sir two things will happen to you 
I say it in the open. You will come and stand here. Look at me. One. Look at me, sir. A level of financial breakthrough you have never seen in your Amen. life. Amen. Amen. It's what is going to come Amen. upon you. Amen. I want you to believe it, sir. It's not just because maybe uh, I'm talking to you because all of that. That's number one. Number two is that I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a thermometer rising up and down your chest. This is BP. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. You have BP. Yes, sir. Did you tell me? No, sir. I have to pray on it. If I don't pray on it, you are going to have serious problem. Because I'm seeing you go to a doctor. Maybe now or in the future. And the doctor is specifically telling you not to eat salt. All right, salt. Like completely. I don't know what. But I think something that has not to do salt. So I have to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. And any other thing you came here with. Hold my hands sir. With both of your hands. I want you to believe. Father. There is a grace for prosperity. Receive that grace. In the name of Jesus. Is, there is an anointing. That makes men prosper look at me sir in the name of Jesus I release that grace God gave it to me I pray for you again in the name of Jesus that mantle and unction that can cause a man to prosper may it come upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ God bless you sir and BP come sir let the BP be healed now in the name of Jesus Huh? what's your name what's his name Augustine Augustine Augusta, Augusta. Yes, thank you come you are the one who needs deliverance I'm going to pray for you but lift your hands I'm looking at you and I'm seeing uh, now this is not death but I'm seeing you know how a place has been deserted like a wilderness that's what I'm seeing as I'm looking at you and I have to pray for you because if I don't pray for you, are you married? Huh? No, if I don't pray for you, number one, you will not get any reasonable man to marry you. It's all these foolish men who will loiter around and come and not be serious. Huh? In the name of Jesus, for you and your family, be set free right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I open up those doors. Jane! 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 You are a fair woman, looks like an evil lady. You are wearing it like a sleeveless. Jane, sleeveless, something like that. Who is that? Huh? I'm the one. Look at she's surprised. You think I'm a herbalist? I've been talking to people. Why are you looking like um one? The first miracle is there's something in your stomach. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, Did you tell me? Yes, sir. Something is biting you physically like a snake. It moves down to your breast region and comes down there every day. That's the first thing God is going to do. Stand up. Number two. See, she doesn't want to stand up. Stand up, madam. Mm. Ah. Kai, you are a good woman, but you have suffered. I have to pray for you somebody came into your life and did something i cannot say in the open you have been crying till now you gave this man everything is that true yeah, right. everything you gave this man he rubbish your life into zero and went away when i was preaching about mercy god was talking to you yes, huh yes. don't worry the man even said you're a fool god will use the foolish things and confound the wild <laughs> stand up three that man that appears in your dream is going to leave you now. Stand up. This, this wicked spirit. Stand up, my dear. Hold my hand. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I love the power of God. That person lifting that picture. Lift it high. Right now. The power of God will touch you. Lift both of your hands. There's anointing coming on you right now. That's it. Your prayer is answered. It's done completely. The miracle for which you are lifting that picture for. Completely. It's gone. May your life turn and change like day and night. In the name of Jesus. I close every door you have opened in your life. And I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle for you. In the name of Jesus Christ one two three four four months there is someone you're a businessman you've not done anything for four months 
it's like you are, I don't know if it's a project you are doing or you are supposed to do something. Four months, you have been completely grounded. I don't know if you are inside or outside. Please run. God wants to pray for you. Why are they here? Jane, I want to pray for you and then we'll pray for the sick. Jane. Madam, I finish with you. You can go back rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be breakthrough for you. Let there be breakthrough for you. If I pray for you, please go back. If I don't speak for you, uh, upon you, it just means I'm not hearing anything else. Jane, your name is Jane. You are the businessman. Lift your hands where you are. Just lift it there. Lift your hands where you are. I said keys were given to people earlier on. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on you. And everyone who relates to this miracle too, may they receive it. I release an anointing upon you right now. Right now. Everyone who relates to this, in the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, you need wisdom, you need strategy, and you need connection. These three things, these are the things you came for. I release upon you grace don't be confused things are about to turn around in your life come you need a helper somebody helped you you did not thank him you didn't thank him and this thing has affected you doctor doctor I'm seeing a doctor I don't know if you saw this please come sir I want to speak to you sir sorry I'm having to call you but the Lord is saying I should tell you is going to come very fast go and write it down this is what the Lord is saying I should tell you even me I don't understand what I'm saying but the Lord is saying I should tell you is going to come very fast it will bring three things one envy number two I see your superiors angry with you and the Holy Spirit is ministering to me and he's saying it is because this kind of speed is not common Koinoni, I want you to witness this thing and write it. You will see it happen. Sir, I pray for you. Shade, you are a witness to what God is doing to your husband. God is going to give him such a dimension of speed. Sir, this will start from now till June 2017. You will see speed that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, do you know why you are stranded? Only one reason. You violated the law of honor. The law of honor. This is not just witchcraft don't don't act as if you don't need people you always need them for your business to rise huh why am i seeing piles of clothes what do you do i sell clothes. you sell clothes honor is what you have violated hold my hands let your business grow now go and excel in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus what is abba so we go to Abba too. you go to abba yes, sir. to buy clothes there yes, sir. but favor has closed there Yes, sir. the person who used to help you something happened between you and him yes sir. you didn't honor him he was very fair to you huh yes, let me just tell you the truth that's why i said it's the law of honor yes sir. after i pray for you he's yes. going to call you amen the business will start again amen. grace for you i'm not revealing i'm making it happen this is not revelation the word will make it happen i place the word of god upon your life and i declare that things will change in jesus Why are you here? What was this? Project. Project. What are you doing? I want to run this school. Huh? You love children. Huh? And you want to teach. I'm seeing you doing something with a blackboard. Huh? Blackboard. Yes. Ah, you are strong. You want to establish a school. That's what I'm seeing. Nursery school, primary school, secondary school. That's what you want to do. Who told you it cannot be done? Huh? It can be done. You believe that? Hold my hands. Go and honor somebody who is already in having a school. And God will open that door for you. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, we are going to pray for the sick. Please listen. I want, this is the last miracle service for the year. I want everybody to receive. There will be such a heavy mantle transfer after the prayer. I just want us to in the next few minutes to finish here so i want you to please cooperate with us i pray for you you are all blessed in jesus name now please listen all those who are sick 
in this venue listen please this venue and uh the the overflow by the roadside i want you to just move to the front of your projector the projector screen all of you who are trusting god for a healing miracle no matter how many you are we will pray for you that's why we are here those outside move to your projector screen outside now listen part of those outside can come in not everybody a few of them maybe at the back you can come in then those trusting god for miracles here for you and your loved one now please come up come up quickly come up believing god come up believing god we want to do a thorough work tonight please we want to do a thorough work tonight this is what will happen now those outside is okay for those coming outside um pastor jakes pastor jakes will help me handle the one by this pro, uh, the projector stand outside and then ejimi will go outside please guys let's trust god for grace for people to really get miracles hold on please people need let, let me just pray with you guys let's let's do a thorough work father grace in the name of jesus let your healing power flow let that healing grace lord in the name of jesus let it work let that healing grace be at work let there be results in the name of jesus please come pastor alpha come benga promise michael come all these hands i will tell you where to in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ grace for you let there be a very thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results thorough results in the name of jesus thorough results pastor um you are michael please you can go outside and help jakes um benga you and promise you can go outside there with a jimmy please just go outside let's see i will try to handle the ones here um very very fast we need so many more people by god's grace pastor femi come 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 you are here and you are hiding come come and hold my hands let that anointing come upon your life and then you help me here in the name of the lord jesus christ so he will help me here jesus we release your healing power all over this place listen please for all those who are here please listen by the grace of god and it's not pride god has given we're a healing ministry god has given us grace please be patient we are going to hurry up if i don't mention your case don't worry i'll just lay hands on you i want us to cover grounds as much as possible i would have just prayed for you but that's not the instruction god gave us maybe if the ministry becomes too large we can pray but now i want to lay hands on everyone there are people with cancers there are people with all kinds of things just trust god worship team please just create the atmosphere for us if you are tired maybe the media can play something a worship song so that you rest too especially if you want a healing miracle come lay your hand on your stomach father you heal her in the name of jesus thank you jesus lift your voice if if they are if the worship team if you are tired then the media can play something a worship song let's be very fast please as soon as i lay hands on you i want you to believe god and go back thank you jesus let there be miracles now those of you who are hold on those of you who are seated please i permit you to put on your phone call your loved ones whatever their requests are i want to pray this is our last miracle service for 2016 anything that has not been done that must be done before december 31st i want you to write it call your loved ones those online submit your request we are all going to pray thank you jesus go ahead you will do a miracle a miracle today thank you jesus miracle worker you are a miracle worker Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You will do a miracle. Restoration. A miracle Restoration. Today. Restoration. Restoration. Miracle now. Worker. Now. You are a miracle worker. 
Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You will do a miracle, a miracle today. Your name is Yahweh. over your body this thing everywhere how long one year it just started coming hold my hands let it go now I cost the spirit responsible for this now let her go be healed now this wicked thing it disappears from your skin and lives your life forever it is done darling God bless you your name is Yahweh. Hey, your name is Yahweh. Hey, miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Oh, your name is Yahweh. Mama, say after me, I curse every witchcraft. I curse every witchcraft from the village from the village over my life over my life in the name of jesus in the name of that's where your problem is coming from but i pray for you in the name of jesus let there be a miracle by the anointing of the holy spirit ah mama something is leaving you in the name of jesus i command that spirit to leave you you're with her Help her, help my mom, please. You need favor in your life and you need speed. These two things. You need favor and speed. Ah! The anointing is still on our mother. Favor and receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go ahead, guys. Your name is Yah. Oh, your name is Nobody, nobody like Jesus. 
Hello, scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, my son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.